Hi there, this is Barry Longden. I'm back here again to show you another quick tutorial on how to use another Microsoft Office 365 product. So today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Classroom. This is a, a new tool that's been implemented. It's still in the preview mode, but it's, uh, it's very functional and I feel like it's got a very good user interface and I think teachers and students can find a lot of use out of this. So right now I'm in Firefox and I'm going to log into Office 365 to access it. So use your same login credentials that you normally do to access like your email, for example, or to get onto OneDrive. So let me get logged in here. From the login page, it's going to pop up here in a moment. We're going to click on the icon that says classroom. It looks like a little leaf and that will take us to the classroom environment. Now, the best part about this Microsoft Classroom environment is that it's already pre-built for you. All of your students are loaded and all of the classes have been loaded as well. So it's a third option in here for me. Let's click on that and see what it, where it takes us to. I don't have the same look and feel that a teacher will have, but it will be very similar. Um, I have created my own classes. You won't have to do this as an educator, but um, you'll have all of your students pre-built and all your classes pre-built. So all you really have to do is just create some assignments. So we'll walk through how to do that in another tutorial, but I just wanna walk you through this a little bit. Okay, so this is the Office 365 uh, Microsoft Classroom environment. So as you can see on the left-hand side, there's a column, and this is where all of the classes that I'm currently either enrolled in as a student or as a teacher are listed. Um, you can make new classes for like individual students if you'd like to, if you've got independent studies, but for the most part, these should already be taken care of for you. All of your classes from probably first semester, first trimester, depending on your schedule, will be posted there as well. Notice I have an inactive class as well. This is for the classes that are either currently not in session or ones you're not using. I would highly recommend that you uh, deactivate those classes and I'll show you how to do that um, in a, a little bit later. So let's just start with my class. I've made one right here. I have some Tim teachers already enrolled in here. So we'll just walk through each of the tabs and explain what they are, and we'll call that good for today. So you'll notice that I have some tabs up here. I have assignments, calendar, conversations, class notebook, and then files, and finally manage. I've also got a little icon over here that says how many teachers are currently in that class and how many students are in that class as well. The majority of your time will be spent on this assignments uh, tab. So as you notice, I have an in progress and a completed section for the teacher. So I can create new assignments by clicking this button. There are some really cool options in there. We'll do that in a later video. If I click on the, the calendar button, that will take me to the Outlook calendar. It will have all of the assignments that are currently in progress or ones that I've done already um, as a teacher. And students will see a very similar view when they click on their calendar. Conversations allows you to go in and uh, have conversations with both other students in groups or individuals and you can also talk with the teacher if you'd like to as well so that allows you to have um, conversations outside of class that maybe wouldn't happen otherwise class notebook is very similar to the class notebook that's available throughout the 365 um, this one's simply integrated into the class so really it takes like three clicks and you're set to do that so if you're interested in using class notebook along with the microsoft classroom environment that's a great resource to have for each of the assignments that you create, all of the files will be hosted in this location. So anytime you attach a file to an assignment, it will be created and put into this file section. Essentially, it just creates a SharePoint site where all of the files will be hosted, and you'll be able to check out all of those files at a later time if you wish. And then finally, the Manage tab right here just allows you to change things like the, the theme, the colors. You can do a couple of things with the description. It's more just a, a teacher management portion. And then that last part up here is you can click on this um, teacher and students icon, this little link right here, and it will take you to the page that has all the teachers and students listed. And you can organize them and you can look at those as you need. So a little bit more about this first page. You also notice you can create announcements over on the far right. That's kind of interesting. You can post things and, for example, if a test is coming up or you're reviewing for an exam, you can post that there. Otherwise, um, it'll just pop up down below here like you see this one I made four months ago. So that's basically all of Microsoft Classroom. I want to show you right now just a little introduction, how to get in, how to look at things, and we'll look at how to add assignments and do a couple of other things in later videos. All right, thanks. Bye.